before watching this, think if you have ever thought different of someone from having tattoos or piercings. It is a serious problem that is portrayed or stereotyped along with having a tattoo or piercing. After watching this documentary, understand the true meaning of body art. Hi, today I'm making a documentary about the effect that people getting tattoos and piercings have because if people get a tattoo or piercing I've found that they get looked at differently by people or people will choose not to interact with them which is basically a really negative effect. Now, I myself, as a young kid I guess, I'd be looking to maybe get a tattoo or a piercing when I get older but I'm not quite sure that I want that negative effect upon me. So that's why I'm making this documentary to find out that if I do get a tattoo or a, a piercing that I will I'll be treated differently by to see how tattoos and piercings can have a negative effect on an individual. I interviewed a friend on how his tattoos have affected him. So Nathan, how many tattoos do you have on your body? Uh, and what do they mean to you? Um, this one was my first, that one I was 16. Um, again, back when I was 16, I was always called to get tattoos. And ever since then, I just, yeah, tattoos are just something I like to get. Tattoos are just a form of art. Um, my next tattoo will be of uh, my tail nipple, which is my fucking papa, of who I am, and I'm from the sort of. Yeah, now I'm being the most of it. And my family, my kids. And now I can add more kids to the world and stuff like that. Some cases are judging before they actually get to know you. Um, sometimes they look at you and think, oh, look at this dude, you know, you're a criminal. Um, I've lost jobs because of that. You know, they actually you know, think, oh, you know, he's got a tattoo on his arm, he's a criminal, you don't want to hire him, bad for the image. What jobs have you lost because of having tattoos? Um, a bar job. They reckon that um, it was offensive to other patrons coming in to look at my tattoos. Uh, I lost a customer service job at a post store with my tattoos. Um, yeah, um, just people on the street, you know, just old people look at you and they feel threatened by you because you've got tattoos. And actually, in fact, you know, you're not even scared. <laughs> For an insight into why people with tattoos and piercings are perceived as different, I went down to Ink Attack Tattoo Parlor Kawana to ask their thoughts on the issue. Uh, my name is Damien. I'm a pet tattooer and I'm a tattoo studio. So Damien, what goes into being a tattoo artist? How do you how do you start with one tattoo and then progress? What goes into it? Um, approach another tattoo artist. Get on their good side, try to get them to um, teach you what they know, involved in apprenticeship. The artist will, um, will uh, decide to say yes to, to train you. You'll probably kick around the tattoo shop for 6 to 12 months, learn how to clean, and stuff like that, and eventually get your license. And you might do a couple of friends, you might do a couple of uh, um, half price tattoos, maybe three tattoos, then adventure into half price tattoos, and then eventually go into. So, how many tattoos do you have and what meanings do they have to you? I don't know how many I've got, I've got a few. Uh, mine are all done by um, the start of this one here, was sort of my first one. I did this to get my first um, job in tattooing. Uh, I had to do it on myself. So, I did that one there, I did that one, I'm left handed, so I did that. Um, they've got a little one on the back here for some friends that die. Um, so, do you think that people would sometimes just get tattoos for the sake of getting a tattoo, or do they, do they most of the time get them just for the meaning of it? They like the idea of a tattoo, but they don't. Uh, they don't know much about art, so they don't know what to do. If you delve into the uh, psychological aspects of tattooing, a lot of people. Come in, we can tell if someone wants to get a tattoo or if someone wants attention or if someone wants to get visual art. It's the majority of things. A recent study showed that 
About 80% of people that break the law are doing wrong. They have all have tattoos. Can you justify that a bit? Well, so have you yourself ever been looked at differently because of your tattoos that you have? Uh, I really noticed it. But, um, I would say so. Um, they do pull me up and they do start talking to me or they are talking down to me at first. Once they hear my side of the story and what I do and everything, as soon as someone hears that I'm paid as an artist, things change. So what would you say to young people that would be looking to get a tattoo on their body? For starters, you shouldn't really get a tattoo under the age of 20. I think uh, getting tattoos under the age of 20, uh, what happens is your body hasn't, uh, hasn't finished growing. So if you get something at the age of 18, nine times out of 10, by the time you're 25, it needs redoing and it looks ugly. Um, they should be wise, they should really learn about the best tattoo artists in the world first and not just get an idea in their head and have to have it that day. It's not what tattooing is about. You take those all, all on board. Uh, Kind of a nice tattoo that will last a lifetime. Trevor Jones, and I'm 48 years of age. Right. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? No, I don't. Okay. What's your opinion on tattoos and piercings? I just can't really see the point of them, to be honest. And piercings, I just yeah, don't see the point. I think that you know, earrings on a woman's nice, but other than that. I'm not into them at all. Why is it you have no tattoos or piercings? I just think, um, you know, nice clean body um, is probably the best look. Do you have a negative opinion of tattoos and people, and people with them? I don't um, have a negative opinion per se, but I just think some people just take it way too far. If someone wants, you know, the odd small one, yeah, and particularly if they've got some sort of meaning like for a loved one or someone that's passed away, you know, maybe it's appropriate, but when I see people with these arms and legs just covered in them, it just looks gross to me. Don't deface your whole body. After interviewing and getting various opinions from different sources, I've discovered that getting a tattoo will influence the opinions of people towards me in negative and positive ways. If I did get a tattoo, it'd be for the meaning of getting one, and not just for the sake of getting one. It'd be proper and have meaning close to me. Even if someone does get a tattoo, they shouldn't be judged based on appearance. They should be accepted and not for